Sergio on a global scale. How do you think this neighborhood and this city compare to others on a socioeconomic and cultural level? I, I feel like there's a there's a kind of real strong cultural sense of like what it means to be Danish. And it's this kind of constant like small political force of Danishness that's being exerted on like everyone's behavior. I mean I find it like really small ways. Okay. Six minute mark. Uh, I have a question about uh, hospitality because it seems like what characterizes hospitality it's not just who you include it's also who you exclude like if everyone is welcome then there's no hospitality in a way like like uh, I mean hospitality is about who you let into your house just kind of in contrast to how many people you're not letting into your house so I'm wondering how they're uh, how how you're going to navigate that in this concept of making Copenhagen the most hospitable city in the world? Uh, I mean, it, it, I think the answer is very pragmatic that in, in this case, the people who are let in are people who come to town bringing something with them. It's not just random tourists, it's people like yourself or it could be a person to coming in to make a concert, an exhibition, it's people who come to do something. So that's it, basically. <coughs> but uh, I guess also, for instance, with uh, with with the pro which the project that that this project leans back towards is is this uh, new life Copenhagen project during the climate conference where it was people who couldn't come if we didn't have this initiative so they were excluded to start with and included them I don't know if that's an answer but I think it's hit or hard yeah it's difficult. Um, difficult question. A difficult person to ask a question. Um, no, I think that the, uh, a good question for her could be also if what's her motivation for doing this? Is she uh, trying to change the world or is she trying to do something for herself? I mean, the personal quest is that I'm, like, I want to do something interesting and, you know, I need to put food on the table and I'm sure as hell not going to sit in an office and tell somebody, have somebody tell me what I need to do. I've done that plenty. And I think I'm finally at a point in my life where reaching 40 at some point here soon, that um, why the fuck not? Like, you know, I mean, we're in these positions now where we can actually make a difference somehow. So I don't need to save the world, but I would like to save a community one, you know, a little bit, a part of it. <laughs> and if that also extends to students or practitioners kind of forging outside of their safety comfort zones, that's perfect for me, for growth in every way.